so Ruben, um, we've heard the the uh, hereditary chief Frank Cristo Jones and Chief Counselor Jeff Jones um, is saying for almost two months now that they support logging in their traditional territory and that outside blockaders are not welcome. And yet we're still seeing protesters come on to the traditional territory. Um, why, do you, why do you think that is? And tell me what your role is um, on site there. Well, you know, I, I come in solidarity to stand um, with a nation that's against it because it's, um, you know, just like to slay with the nation when we're standing up against the Kinder Morgan pipeline, there's multiple nations that are for it. And, and we don't see anything ill will against any nation that's for it. Just like here, we don't see ill will against um, Didi Dot. We, we, we come to support the nations that, you know, that's against it. Like they support us in our fight and what we're doing stopping the Trans Mountain Pipeline. Okay. And what do you think about the fact that the Pachidat First Nation has clearly stated that you know all parties need to respect that it's up to the Pachidat people to determine how their forest group resources will be used and they have unequivocally stated that they do not welcome or support unsolicited involvement or interference by others in their territory including third-party activism. Yeah I think I answered that because just like I said in Tisleweetooth we're a nation that stands against it and there's dozens and dozens of nations that are for it. And um, it doesn't stop our work from doing what we're going to do. And um, and we're not stopping them from their negotiations. Because what I do believe is nations that did did negotiate or do want to do something, you know, what they're thinking of is their food, is, is, is food for their families and clothes and housing. You know, and, and so you, you can't say anything wrong against that. Because, you know, you, you look at the um, Canada and what they're saying and trying to push forward about reconciliation. You know, reconciliation of the 215 children that were found dead at, at, at Kamloops, you know, it, that the residential schools experience affected whole families to the generations that are happening today. Because you could see 40% of the homeless population is First Nation population. That's one statistics, but you could go across the board and see all the negative effects colonization has had. So when a, negate, when a nation negotiates, and, 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 and that's, what, that's what they're trying to heal. So we don't see anything bad about them. But at the same time, we need to protect what we love. And that's the trees, that's the land, that's the water, and even the people. Okay, um, it, just one more, Ruben. Um, so as, a, as an outside First Nation member who's, who's come here in solidarity, um, why, why are you not telling outside activists to leave the Pachidat traditional territory? I'm here to support the nation that that's come, that's stopping it. You know, I you know, I'm, I'm one voice. I come in solidarity to support the nation that's that's stopping it, and I won't say anything bad about anyone else and what they're going to do and what they're asking. And you know, I I know why I'm here. I know why I'm, I'm here, and, and that's that's to protect what we love. Okay, um, I think that's great, Ruben. Unless there's anything else you wanted to add. Nope. Thank you. Okay, thank you for making the time on the spur of the moment there. Thank you. Okay, take care. Okay, thanks. Hi, Kristen, are you still there? No, okay, I dropped. Okay. All right. See, she asked the question three times. Yeah. I'm not going to bite on that. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good way to go. Thanks. Thanks.